El Conde is the latest film from Pablo Lierne Le and is a very anticipated like indie film. This is something that I've been seeing posters for and like especially on Letterboxd I've seen uh, a lot of stuff for it. And uh, yeah, I was pretty excited. The All of like the stills and images that I saw from it looked pretty good. Uh, I really liked the marketing behind it. So like I was excited for this movie and then all of a sudden, uh, it was like around midnight last night, I was just on Netflix looking for something to watch and it was there. So I ended up watching it. Uh, this is a Spanish language film, but it does come from the director of uh, Spencer and Jackie. Those are two movies that were like in Oscar talks throughout those both of those years. I didn't see Jackie, but I did watch Spencer, and that was a really great movie. Cameron is right here. This is her dorm. She's watching me. Um, yeah, I I was really excited for to watch this, and uh, I loved the premise of this like a uh, really old ancient vampire who uh, is like a warlord. Uh, it's just, it's a very interesting story. So I went into this movie with pretty high expectations, and it met them, honestly. Uh, I was actually just talking to Cam about this. Every year, it seems like Netflix puts out this black and white movie that is uh, by an acclaimed indie director as, you know, somebody who is known for making, like, more higher brow film, and it always ends up just being really gross and exploitative for whatever reason, and, like, really just bad. Uh, like last year we, we had Blonde and then Mank was uh, a couple years before that. Just movies that I really didn't have any attachment to. So with this thing I was excited but I was kind of waiting for something bad to happen. I was waiting for that one moment to, to be like okay this is kind of irredeemable like we can't come back from this. But surprisingly enough even though there are really horrific things happening throughout the film I never got that sense. I never got the sense of it being overly exploitative. I was just kind of waiting for there to be a moment in this film where uh, a character makes a decision or something, and they, they just go way too overboard with either the gore or, like, an S.A. scene. For some reason, it's always S.A. There's always something involving that uh, throughout these movies. And while there is something kind of like that in this movie, it's it's not done in a way that is, like overly exploitative or showing too much of it or just being plain disgusting for like no reason for me everything in, a, in this movie had a point to it this is a very clever movie as it's using something very horrible and very scary and turning into like this very dry british like humor now i did watch this movie with the english dub on and they gave everybody english accents which i'm imagining in the original spanish language film uh they don't sound anything like that but i actually didn't even notice at first because it really fit the entire vibe of the movie and it, it fit what uh, they were going for especially with the dialogue and the delivery of those voice actors they actually did a pretty good job but uh this movie still feels it's very cold and it's very uh like slow moving at points this movie can be a bit tedious at times like that's one of the only complaints i have about it is that it takes its time getting to where it needs to go However, um, it, it has such a beautiful shots and such like poignant scenes and such an intricate and like not deep, I guess, but uh, there's a lot of webs within the storyline. Like I feel like there was a lot of different dots connecting and that it sometimes can be muddled with the more tedious moments. But I think that uh, when they're more clear and when they're more um, apparent, it, it, it makes the film so much better. Uh, all of the performances are really great. I thought the children of the vampire were really funny. I thought uh, all of the actors who played the vampire had this sense of, like, broodingness to them. Like, they, they all were, were kind of silly, and especially the old guy, he would be cracking jokes a lot with a very dry sense of humor. But uh, there was also, like, it was terrifying seeing him on screen because you never knew when he was going to snap. Uh, and that's another main selling point of this movie is the tension. There are moments where I was like, I need to pause this for a second. I need to take a break because my heart is pounding. Just because of how terrifying it is that you never know when something's going to happen. These characters may act like normal people. They may seem like normal people at times making jokes, you know, um, going through the motions. But they are still very dangerous vampires that um, are preying on these people. And it's terrifying because uh, you never know, again, when they're going to lose their temper or when they when they just can't help it or, and are going to kill somebody. 
So that part of the movie was very intriguing for me. Uh, I really liked the you know political implications and um, com the comparison to like old warlords being vampires that are just sucking the life out of a country and just never dying. I thought that metaphor really worked for me. Uh, I liked that the movie was in black and white. I think again it added a sense of like regalness to the movie. Uh, it felt very old school, but in a very good way. Uh, I don't know. A lot of things worked for me in this movie. I really found it pretty funny. I found it terrifying. The shots were so gorgeous to look at, and the story was interesting to follow. Um, it does have some faults. There are some tedious moments. It kind of falls apart towards like the middle of the climax. Um, there, there's just a couple moments that I feel that. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry, thank you. It's okay. Are very. Um, just not necessary, I guess. It, it is a two-hour-long movie, and there are moments that uh, I felt could have been cut out. But again, it's not that much of a deal-breaker. And this is definitely one of my favorite movies of the year. So uh, I'm going to give, was it El Alcunde? I think that's how you say it. It means the count in, in English. Um, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. So yeah, definitely go check this one out. It's a smaller film on Netflix. You're really going to like it. Uh, especially if you're into, like, that kind of stuff. Especially if you're a fan of, like, Robert Eggers, I would definitely check this thing out. So uh, that's all I've got for today. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this movie in the comments, and I will see you later.